guys, welcome back. It is your favorite Gimp with Limp, and I'm finally back with a little more Assault Sicily 43. Uh, sadly, uh, well, not sadly, we did get cats for the children, but I understand now exactly why war gamers hate cats, because they love counters, and they have messed up this map. I, I think I have everything back exactly where it's supposed to go, but they have jumped on this table, and only this table, jump on any other table been fine but they want to jump on this table on this map with these counters and they've done it like four times so i would come back find it all messed up fix it and then they would do it again and they've been i could kill them i came into my office at one point and i saw them like i turn i see the cat sitting on the top of my chair and she turns and she looks back at me. And I swear to God, if a cat gives someone the finger, she was giving me the finger. And she turned and leaped right here on the map. It went sliding. Counters go everywhere. And it's the only time I've almost killed a cat. Like, I could have strangled the life out of that little thing. So anyway, we're going to jump back in. I believe we had left off with the end of the previous turn. Uh, we're finally now starting into turn two. So a lot of go a lot of stuff's going on. Honestly, I should have picked a smaller scenario because I don't know that I'm going to be able to play through all of this one. I might have to do some of it off camera and then come back to it because there's just there's so much going on over here. But I want to have this at least big bite over here taken care of before we finish out. All right, so we've got our, our, our tower here. We're going to do our quick initiative phase, figure out who's going first. We'll do uh, red for Italians, blue for Americans. Americans win it, so they get to fire first. We've got to do our planning phase. I'll do that part off camera. That, again, is where we are going to set out all of our tokens, all of our little command tokens. And this is this is a key question because it is who's getting activated. Do you put the points towards those uh, indirect fire assets? Like over here, I've got a 75 mil gun for the Americans that I can't do anything with. This is a problem because he's taking so long to move. Just, I could have started him there. He could have been firing, but now I'm going to put him in the back because oh, I'm stupid. If I was playing against Wolfgang, he'd be crushing me right now. Anyway, I've got to keep three tokens off in my hands, and then the rest I'm going to go ahead and place out on the cards. That way these decisions are already made, and I can't resend them. And then we'll do our indirect fire uh, phase, the support phase. All right, so I went ahead and placed out all of my command tokens and I'm gonna to have to make some choices again for the Italians because even with all the extra tokens that they have, uh, with all their forces, I didn't place any on any of their indirect fire. I've only got the three that I hold back in my hand if I wanna use those. So if I do, then that means that they're only going to have, if I activate both, just one token left to, to spread around somewhere else, which isn't much. I might just fire once with their 81 millimeter mortar because that is that's good. The Americans have more tokens. Now, you remember the Italians have lost one already because one unit was just blatted off the board. So we're going to definitely, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. We're going to activate our 81 mil mortar. I know I'm going to use that, so I'll place that there just so I remember. But we got to do the Americans first is where we're going to start with. And as far as indirect fire assets go, I did put a token on the 60 mil mortars and I think the 75 mil gun because I definitely want to shoot him. And I think I'm going to put him towards one of the Reynos probably. Now I'll put this on screen so you guys can see it, but it's actually on the back of the card that shows the dice that you're going to use. And ooh, the defender loses its weakest defense die. So this... This definitely is a good thing for this. Seventy-five mil. Now he has great firepower, uh, HE firepower against a target direct fire. That's why he blatted out the LMG. But we're going to start with him firing indirectly against. One of the vehicles, which one do I want to target? Oh, I could get them all. I want to get them. I want to get them so badly. It's five to 15 hexes. He's easily got these guys in range. 
maybe the rhino. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Cause I think, I think I'm doing this right, but I, I, I could be making a mistake. And if I do, trust me, Wolfgang will let me know in the comments. All right, so first one's going to be the 75 mil gun. Not this one, he's already acted. So it's definitely the left one we're gonna fire with. And I'm actually gonna target the Savante, the tank destroyer, because it's the better one. Plus, he has two defense dive from up above. Not, uh, the, the Renault only has one, he has yellow. I get to remove a defense die for this attack. There's none to remove from the Renault because you at least get one defensive die. So I can't reduce them down to nothing. I don't believe I could be wrong on that, uh, but I believe you always get at least a, a single defense die. Plus him being an open terrain, he's getting no defense. He's basically out there shitting in the woods. So this way, instead of having a yellow defensive die, they only have one green defensive die, which is worse. And that's the, the better tank, so it's the better target. However, since this is, because he's losing a blue, he would have a green and a blue, and instead he's just got the green. But remember, I have to roll, and then whatever hits rolls again, and that's the actual hit. So it's not perfect, but I stand a good chance here. All right, so let's roll for our attack. Okay, okay, okay. I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that. We're only, God, I wish this was my roll. Two crits and three hits, it would kill that tank. Uh, okay, this this I can do though. He's only losing a blue die, not, not the worst. All right, so this is his actual roll. Okay. Okay, okay, I can deal with that. Three hits and a critical and a suppression. Now he gets to roll a single, single green die as defense. All right, single green die. Oh, and it blanks out. I think that just kills him. I th oh, tell me you killed him, tell me you killed him. Oh, I should have been firing like this from the beginning. Yeah, because that's four hits. And those things have, what, four health? Four health! Yes! <gasps> Black, you mother freako! Now, technically, I think this is out of range, but I don't care. I want to use it because it's cool. Uh, we are going to put one of these blast markers because it just, it seems thematic to me. It seems definitely thematic to me. Uh, we'll take his command token since he got blatted. Uh, off the board, so that accounts for him. And something that I'm doing to remember this is when I take a counter off the board because it's died, I will go ahead and place a command counter on it to remember the, uh, make sure I keep track of the fact that I am taking a command counter away to account for that loss. Damn, damn, that is what, well, yes, I like this. This changes the terrain, so now this is Blast Crater instead. Now, normally, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but I, you do it when you have an uncanceled critical hit. So I think that would do it, but I think he's out of range because you have to be at a closer range. We're gonna give it to him because I wanna have the, the blast crater. I wanna put it on the board. All right, so that takes care of their first indirect fire. Uh, I didn't get to fire him at something else, but these 75 mil guns are great, man. They, both times he's fired, he's blatted something right off the board. Now, Oh, I didn't put, yeah, that's right. I didn't put a counter on this. Oh, okay. The Italians are losing all their counters. All right, indirect fire with this guy. Oh, that's right. That's right. He's got to have someone sighting for him. Well, that LMG squad can see everything down here so they can do indirect fire there. Maybe go after these guys. They're hidden. But they're at half power. They're at half power. This gun's got clear lines of sight all the way over here, but that 81 millimeter mortar does not. And now I'm having to sacrifice. Well, no, 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 no. He would have a line of sight there. So I can take that without wasting the LMG squad or without giving them the, the modifier. So I think that's what we're going to do. I could do smoke. I could do smoke. 
and just throw it up, but that'll affect my tanks and I don't want to do that. I want the tanks to be able to see. So we're going to do, we're going to do an attack. The, the defender loses its weakest defense die. So cool. All right. We're going to spend the token on this and they're getting three greens. It's a uh, two to 12 hexes with the mortars. So that's not too bad. That is not too bad. But going after the infantry, the infantry get a blue for hardened and then a yellow for inherent for these rangers. And then they're in that large building. That large building is just so brutal. Indirect firing from this hex is not possible. Yeah, they still get so many defense to die. Uh, I'm gonna have to get them another green. Uh, and they would get another blue, but we're gonna pull that blue off uh, because of losing the weakest. So I need to remember, uh, how can I remember? I'll place this yellow off to the side. Hopefully that will remind me that they're supposed to have an extra green. Okay, here we go. Indirect fire, let's place a firing marker. They're firing on the ranges here. Can they get weak sauce, man, weak sauce. The Italians are not starting off well. All right, they got one suppression. Watch these guys whiff. And yes, I did remove the weakest die, which would be a blue from them. And good God, that was close. <laughs> it was close to them whiffing it, but they were able to pull it out. All right. Uh, that is the end of the Italians' indirect fire, unless they want to do it with the 45 mil, but I don't think the 45 mil is worth, worth it. Ugh, no, no, we'll, we'll save that, that command token for something else, because it is not putting out enough hurt. 60 mil mortar will do it, because I did put a counter on him, so he is definitely going to fire. And he's using the same crap dice that the 45 would. Two greens and the blue for indirect fire. Indirect fire. Where is he going? Could do it at that Brenda machine gun who's not spotted. Oh, <gasps> I forgot about that. Uh, the vehicle was open. I'm not horribly worried about it, but this guy... He should have been spotting, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. One goof, and it's been a little while since I've been able to get over here. So if I make a goof, I make a goof. Let's see. Did they did they spot over there? Yes, they spot. All right, so no, no whammy. And for his defense, for the Brenda machine gun, Brenda is going to have the inherent yellow, and then they are in light forest, which is going to be yellow-green. So I believe that is their defense. Is that light force? Yeah, that's light force for them. Okay, and that's their defense and they don't get to remove anything. No, it does lose its weakest defense die. Okay then, okay then. So they're gonna lose that green. Two yellows are still better than two greens and a blue though. Cause you can't get the crits. Cause you can't get the crits on the blues. All right, here we go. Oh. That's not bad. That's not bad. The American indirect fire is doing its job. Uh, two hits are taken out. So they got a crit and a suppression. So they're going to be suppressed, which is going to take care of their action. That's nice. And rolling for a critical hit. So that's going to be one ding of damage because suppression does not cause the damage. And then rolling for the critical of the critical for them. All right, let me get a suppression marker. Here we go. Nice, they're suppressed. And should be green and then blue for the crit. Let's see what we get. Nothing, all right, so no critical result. No critical result for them. All right, that's cool. But that did suppress some machine guns. That is good stuff, I will take that. All right. So, after the first round of indirect fire, we have taken out the Sambante and suppressed the machine guns and had nothing happen over here. The Americans are very defensive uh, on this turn. 
Oh, and just as an FYI, so you guys know, I had to reshuffle the mine markers as well because they had pulled those out. So they're not the same places they were when we first started this scenario because my cats knocked those around as well. I hate those cats. All right. Now it is on to the Americans for the first part of the action phase, I believe, because we are done with the support phase. Yes, done with the support phase. What are we going to do with the Americans? I really want to pull the Sherman tank around, like I said before. But if I do, I know I'm going to take fire. Let's see. Okay, so... Once the American tank gets around this corner, it isn't until he gets to here that I have to worry about him being in line of fire of that Lancia because that Lancia will do hurt to him. The Sherman has three movement points, which means I can only move him one hex and still be able to fire. Okay. Ugh, here's the thing. If I come out and turn, I can move one hex and turn, okay, and point this way so I can fire. If I do that, that's still a move and fire, and I don't believe, does that, ooh, that's close. Yeah, okay. This still blocks it because this is building. So that is, that's blocking, right? That is blocking line of sight. No, that adds a yellow die. That adds a yellow die. This is not going to be considered blocking. That's just degrading. Um, you need three pieces of degrading. So there's two pieces of degrading this brush in that building to fire on the Lancia, but same for the Lancia to fire down on the Sherman, but where it is, uh, what type of building is this? Is this light building? What that actually means is that Lancia could fire on the side of the Sherman. Now, I'm so used to buildings being blocking and they're not blocking. Heavy forest is uh, blocking. Uh, large buildings, uh, hills, things like that are blocking, but these plain buildings are just degrading. They give a, a bonus. Multi-story buildings give a red die. These plain buildings give a yellow die in defense. So as it is, he would get a red, yellow, green, and blue firing on his side. That's pretty good. But that Lancia, Lancia's got a red and two yellows firing on him, but he's not spotted. All right, instead... I'm not going to start with the Sherman. I want to keep the Sherman back for a second so I can figure out what I'm going to do with them later because the, the Sherman and the 275 mils are my my one hope. If it, all three of those go down, that's, that's pretty much game for the Americans because they could be set back and plucked at uh, by the Italians for as long as I wanted. Well, till the end of the game, end of the, the turns. So let's do something else. Let's fire with this 50 cal at these guys, see if we can cause some more damage with them. Because those 50 cals have one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, going right in there along the side so I wouldn't be getting the degrading. He gets two reds and a yellow firing at him. And we might be able to pick these guys off and they're on a victory point hex anyway, so we want to cause them some damage. They are not spotted yet though. So let's roll and see if we spot them. We do spot them, all right, so we can fire. We'll be firing anyway, but they would get an extra uh, bit of defense. As it is, they are going to get their inherent yellow and then two yellows and a blue for their defense. So that's their defense and that's uh, the offense against them. All right, let's roll strong for the Americans. Come on, let's go. That's not good. That was a red die, man. That was a red die. They should be putting out the big hurts. They could easily block this, which they do. Yeah. I don't want weak sauce. I want big money. Give me big money. All right. That was the Americans activating their 50 cal. The Italians, what are they going to do? All right, so here's what we're going to do. 
For the Italians, I am going to activate the Lancia, and it is going to try to fire at the side of that Sherman, because while he is getting a bonus, I want to try to take him out, because that Sherman is, is a threat. Uh, we're going to roll, see if we spot, and he does not have as good of a chance uh, of spotting him like he would otherwise. And he does not spot him. He does not. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That gets him an extra yellow die. So he's getting two, two extra yellow defensive die. All right, so that's the Sherman's bonuses with his hardened and his uh, not being spotted and the firing through a building. So that's pretty good. And then on top of that, he gets his red, green, and a blue uh, get added to it for his side armor. So his, his defense is actually pretty hot, especially since he's firing through the building and or around the building, not through the building and uh, not spotted. But the Lancia has a good gun, definitely within the 10 hexes. Oh, oh. oh. God, look at that. So bad. So bad. He's going to hurt him. Don't don't hurt my Sherman. Don't hurt my Sherman, boy. Damn. Look at that. Look. Oh, look, look at all those red dots. That's why I love that Lancia, man. Uh, big gun on him. All right. Here we go. Don't hurt my boy, baby. Ooh. Okay. There's a crit in there. There's a crit in there. That is bad. We got to roll some crits. Blue dice suck. Ooh, I suck, man. All right, come on. Randy. Oh, oh, we blocked everything but the crit. No. Oh, you poor Sherman, you. You poor, poor Sherman. This is what I'm talking about. Always a chip in a chair, a dice in a chair, man. Because you can get plinked. It doesn't matter how many defensive die you were rolling, you can still get hurt. And now I got to find out where the critical thing is. Uh, it can e either be the vehicle's immobile. Oh, no. The vehicle performs a fallback, which would already be bad, or the vehicle can... Ooh, it's been hit with this crit, so it's already... It's going to be at a minimum a fallback. No, wait, wait. Uh, the vehicle will become either suppressed... Oh! <gasps> At a minimum, he's going to be suppressed. This is so bad. I don't get to activate my... I knew I should have activated that Sherman. This is so bad. Okay. Green die and blue die. Remember, this is Sherman's rolling defense. This is the offense for the crit. And now we see what happens. All right. So let's roll and see what they get. And they got a hit, which means I need a hit here. And they block it. All right. So nothing. Nothing. That was close. I did not want them to become um, suppressed or fall back. That would have been bad, 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 bad. All right. We'll probably do one more American activation here real quick. Get a little more going on in the game. But then after that, we might uh, we might play some off camera because there's just so much. There's so much game here. And I don't want this to be a 30 part series. All right. So what if I took the Sherman and moved him forward just by one X and did a move and fire. Yeah. He's going to get a penalty and I'd open up my side to this solo Thern rifle, but that's not a big deal. This Lancy is already fired and this way. The Lancy is coming at the front, but I lose the, the defensive bonus of that bill. That's fine. Screw it. You only live once. You got to move up. We got to move up. We're going to do a, a fire and move. Yeah, that's going to get him a penalty. But I think we can get that. We're, we would have a penalty going after him. But he's only got blue die. He's only got blue die. That gets him a, uh, a yellow die for firing through the building. But screw that noise. He's already fired. We don't have to worry about spotting him. Might as well. All right, so two reds. We're going to try to take out that gun. I hope I miss because I really love that gun. I want the gun, like, thematically, I want the Lancy to take out the Sherman just because the, the Lancy is so cool, but likely the Sherman's going to get him. All right, so this is what the Sherman is firing. The Lancia gets three blues. Do I have another blue die? No, okay. 
he gets his three blues and then one yellow for the building's defense. Oh, and there's that there too. That gets him another boo. I think these are cumulative, so I gotta add one more blue to it. I gotta remember to, to do that. Not a big deal though. Let's see what Ashurman is gonna get. Ah, oh, I forget the, the move and fire penalty. Okay, so got it. Took me a second, I had to look it up. Uh, green die added to him because I'm doing the move and fire. All right, now let's roll for him. And make sure I'm not missing any specials. Nope, Sherman's just a Sherman. None special about it. It's just a rock solid tank. All right, come on, big boy. Hurt him. Ugh. I would have preferred criticals, but I'll take it. The suppression isn't going to do me any good now. All right, come on. Yeah, he blocked the shit out of it. He blocked the shit out of it. Oh, no. All right, nothing good. Nothing good came of that. That is unfortunate. All right, we'll go ahead and pause here. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish out the rest of this turn on camera, but then I might play a turn or two off camera just to get it to a, a closer state of the end of the game. And it's it's not that I don't wanna film it all, it's just I don't have time to film it all and I gotta get this table cleared up sooner rather than later. Uh, but this game is a lot of fun, and it's just a blast to play uh, solo, especially trying to figure out the strategies uh, back and forth. And the fact that the colored dice mean that it doesn't matter how weak your shot is or how strong your shot is, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. It's not like the the numbered dice, right, where you're doing like 2d6s, where the odds are pretty well decided, you know, some uh, sometimes. All right, but you guys stay tuned. I will have the next part of the series up as soon as I can. Y'all take care. Catch you in the next one.